Hey everybody, it's Sherry with Cards and More by Sherry. I'm here with another um, Nano Jomo journaling page today. Our theme today is wings, and I decided I was going to try to make me a little primitive angel, and I found a, a drawing that I liked, and so I was trying to replicate it with paper piecing here, and I've used um, a doily for the wings, just cut it in half and spliced it a little bit to make it more uh, wing shaped <laughs> and then the body and the arms are cut from a, a book page actually a Bible page and then the the feet the hands the head are cut from just some ivory colored um, printer paper then I'm going to work on the background here um, and I'm using four different color bloom sprays I've got sorbet which is the yellow summer sky which is uh, the blue you'll see me use then there's a soft teal and there's peony and these all have shimmer to them which is what I wanted behind my angel I wanted some shimmeriness <laughs> I'm probably making up words again but that's okay you know how that goes had to pull out the bubble stencils didn't use it yesterday couldn't help myself had to use it today <laughs> So we're just adding random color and then going to dry it, do a little bit more uh, bubbling with that yellow there because I want it, the yellow kind of to glow behind her. Then I'm figuring out where my pieces are going to go and I'm going to attach everything with matte gel medium. Once we get those pieces all on and dried, then I decide that I want to tone down those book pages just a little bit. So I'm just taking some plain white gesso uh, with my fingers and just finger painting on top of those book pages just to tone that text down just a little bit. Okay, here I am using gelatos and I'm going to start giving some definition to her dress, gown, whatever angels wear, um, and just again working with uh, a wet finger and just rubbing that color around to give those definitions so you can um, see the arms, see the shading. I'm gonna do the same thing around the the head, the giant light bulb head that I put on her, uh, the feet, the hands. A little bit of pink on the cheeks of course. And then I decided to, let's see, did I do it here? Oh, no. Um, I'm cutting out a heart from some, I don't even know what kind of paper I use. It was either watercolor or mixed media. <clears throat> I'm going to attach that, dry that. And then I'm going to take some of my Faber-Castell Aquarelle watercolor pencils um, to add some color and outlining on this heart. And you'll see me a couple of times here when I'm dealing with my pencils like there. I'm pulling out my color chart where I have already color swatched on my pencils to, to see what color I'm actually going to get uh, before I lay it down there. Dry, 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 always. <laughs> then I'm taking my Copic Multiliners and I'm going to put like stitching lines all around her clothing then you'll see me also add some um, I, and I should have just stopped there with her face but that's another story uh, I'm gonna put some dots around the wings gonna put some dots around the heart 
trying to give that face a little bit more definition. Um, not happy with the shape of that head at all, but I'll get better with it as I go. Um, attempted to add a little halo here. Kind of looked like just a giant yellow bun on top of her head, but hey, it's just paint and paper, you know? This is my mantra. So then I decided to put a dorky smiley face on her. I need to learn how to draw some like little Cupid doll kind of faces because um, I don't like what I did, but that's okay. Adding some more definition around her body parts with another uh, watercolor pencil. And then going around her the outside of the dress um, with a darker blue aquarelle pencil to give even more definition. Um, the other blue with the gelatos that I did is actually on the book pieces and this is an outlining. Drawing a few little cute little flowers kind of as a little crown across her head and I'm also going to give her a, a flower and a stem that she's going to be holding in her hand and then I'm going to come back with the gelato and a wet paint brush and I'm going to paint the flower petals just to give them a little bit of color. And after I went off camera, I actually added a um, dark pink, little tiny rhinestone to the center of that flower. And then you'll see in the still pictures, I also took some tulip dimensional fabric paint and just kind of a clear glitter and I outlined her wings uh, to give them some sparkle and some more definition. Here I'm painting in the flowers that are uh, on her head as well. Trying to define that halo bun thing <laughs> a little bit more. And I'm pretty much done here, I think. I'm going to add a few more little tendrils of hair or vines, or I'm not sure really what this is coming out of her head, but it's some curly Q thing. So well, I hope you enjoyed watching today. Don't forget that I have um, my friends on the Craft Shack design team that are doing this with me, and we're doing our own prompts. So be sure you check out their videos as well. They'll be linked below, and you can check out my playlist also. I uh, hope you enjoyed my little project today. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.